8.45. This is the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation. Here is the news. Edited by Catherine Pereira and read by Indrani Senanayaka. The headlines. Realigning the political party system to serve the nation's needs has been emphasised. Special notice has been given to all public employees regarding the New Year vacation. A proposal has been put forward by the World Bank to develop Kandy as a green city. Top ADB official and Minister Kanchana discuss regional power cooperation. In foreign news, Israel's military says the body of a hostage was recovered in a night raid. President Ranil Wickremesinghe emphasized the necessity of evolving the political party system in our nation to prioritize economic advancement over partisan interests, stressing the detrimental consequences of tailoring the country's economy to suit party agendas. He underscored the imperative of breaking away from conventional political practices to avert future crises. Speaking at a meeting with lawyers from the Anuradhapura district this morning, President Ranil Vikramasinghe reflected on recent events that have shaken the foundations of democracy in the country. He urged the legal fraternity to unite in upholding law and order, propelling the nation towards progress. During the meeting, the lawyers presented various professional concerns and suggestions aimed at contributing to the government's efforts to bolster the economy. Responding to their inputs, President Wickremesinghe addressed several of their demands concurrently and announced plans to allocate funds for the establishment of a dedicated lawyer's lounge in Aruhradhapura, thereby enhancing the professional stature of local legal practitioners. The Ministry of Public Administration, Home Affairs, Provincial Councils and Local Government has issued a notice to all district secretaries, divisional secretaries and all other officers engaged in local governance with regard to the upcoming long vacation starting from the 11th to the 14th of April. Meanwhile, the Ministry has also mentioned that the officials should make arrangements to implement the necessary procedures during this holiday period to ensure uninterrupted continuation of the development projects and programs related to the government's development activities. This news comes to you from the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation. And we continue with local news. Minister Dr. Bandula Gunawardena says that a proposal will be submitted by the World Bank to make Kandy a green city. This program will be completed within the next three years, parallel to the proposed multi-purpose transport centre. He made this remark to the media after discussion was held regarding the development activities in the multi-purpose transport centre at the Kandy Good Shepherd Terminal today. 30 billion rupees will be spent on this new project. The minister also stated that another 20 billion rupees is needed for the development of several other cities in Kandy. Takio Konishi, the Director General of the South Asia Department of the Asian Development Bank, has called on Sri Lanka's Minister of Power and Energy, Kanchana Vijayasekara. During the meeting, the progress of electricity sector reforms, policy loans to be extended and ongoing programs with ADB funding, including the hydro plant to Morgala were taken up for discussion. In addition, the renewable energy programs to be restructured, regional power cooperation, new finance schemes and grants for rooftop solar panels for small and medium-sized enterprises and low-income groups were also discussed at length. That ends the local segment of news. The main news story is brought to you by Siddhalepa Vedamahatma. The National New Rice Festival, Alut Sahal Mangalaya, unfolded under the patronage of President Ranil Wickremesinghe this morning at the historic Jayasri Mahabodhya sacred site. This traditional ceremony dedicated to offering the first yield of rice harvest from the Maha season to the sacred Jayasri Mahabodhya for the 57th consecutive year was orchestrated by the Minister of Agriculture and the Department of Agricultural Services following the guidance of the esteemed 
Atamastana Dipadi, the Venerable Palligama Hemaratana Nayakathera. That was the main news story. The main news story was brought to you by Siddhale Pavedamatna. Watch Life is brought to you by CIB Navy Offer. Valuable gifts and gift vouchers, 25% discount for bank cards till 10th of April. Visit CIB today. CIB revives once always. We take a look at Watchlight. Residents in Virakatia say that the Godavana Crossroad in Tangala is in a dilapidated condition. Therefore, the people in the area are facing many difficulties due to this reason. They request the relevant authorities to take speedy action to repair this road. This is for the attention of the Tangala Pradesha Sabha and came to you in Watchlight. CIB Navy offer valuable gifts and gift vouchers 25% discount for bank cards till 10th of April. Visit CIB today. CIB revives once always. Coming up, world news. First, the headlines. Israel's military says the body of a hostage was recovered in a night raid. Iran says ISIL members planning Eid al-Fitr, suicide attack arrested. Tech giant Samsung sees profits jump by more than 900%. Israel's military says it has recovered the body of a man taken hostage and held in Gaza in an overnight raid in Khan Yunis. Eled Kadzir was taken from Kibbutz near Oz during the Hamas attack on southern Israel on the 7th of October. His body has been brought back to Israel, the Israel Defense Forces and Israeli Securities Authority said. He was identified by medical officials and his family has been informed. Iran says it has arrested members of the ISIL group who were planning an attack at the end of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. A concerned citizen called law enforcement in Maddasht in the province of al Boz, about 60 kilometers west of the capital Tehran, which led to the arrest of senior ISIL member Mohammad Ramesh Zakir, a police spokesman said today. Zakir and two other ISIL members were taken into custody. He said, adding that eight people accompanied the terrorists planning a suicide attack next week during Eid al-Fitr, which marks the end of Ramadan, were arrested. Samsung Electronics says it expects its profit for the first three months of 2024 to jump more than tenfold compared to a year earlier. It comes as prices of chips have recovered from a post-pandemic slump and demand for artificial intelligence-related products booms. South Korea-based Samsung is the world's largest maker of memory chips, smartphones and televisions. The company is scheduled to release a detailed financial report on the 30th of April. The technology giant estimated that its opening profit rose to 6.6 trillion, one in the January-March quarter, 931% higher than the same period in 2023. That beats analysts' expectations of around 5.7 trillion one. To end this bulletin of world news, the headlines again. Israel's military says the body of a hostage was recovered in a night raid. Iran says ISIL members planning Eid al-Fitr, suicide attack arrested. Tech giant Samsung sees profits jump for more than 900%. That ends this bulletin of world news. We now take a look at development news. The Udayala Mahavava will be renovated at a cost of 20 million rupees. The project will be carried out by the Department of Irrigation and that was Development News. Moving on with Sports News. One Hindu Hasaranga will not participate in the IPL 2024. Sri Lanka Cricket has informed BCCI that the leg spinner is injured and cannot take part in the league for Sunrisers Hyderabad this season. 
Last year, the franchise is believed to be looking for a replacement. According to sources familiar with the situation, SLC has written to the BCCI stating that the 26-year-old has to undergo rehabilitation and rest to heal his left ankle and will not be able for the season. He is believed to have been advised precautionary rest by an expert in Dubai whom he consulted a few days back. And that was Sports News. Go Ekatiana, you ticket, life cricket, change ticket, Niameta Setrena. As for Hagena, the Kapuina, Habakarana, you ticket, Niameta Setrena, friendship recommender. The all new NSB Ithrumitru account, NSB I am, a plan for your dream. Business News, sponsored by National Savings Bank, the safest place for your money. The Commercial Bank of Ceylon has opened up a world of new opportunities for Sri Lankan businesses by becoming the first bank in Sri Lanka to enable the Alipay QR code payments under Unified Lanka QR. Alipay e-wallet holders currently numbering over 1 billion can now scan the Commercial Bank Lanka Pay Unified QR code issued to the Sri Lankan merchants to make payments from anywhere in the world as a result of this latest development. And that was Business News. Business News, sponsored by National Savings Bank, the safest place for your money. Go Ekatiana, you ticket, life cricket, change ticket, Nia Meta set trainer. As for Hagena, the Kapuina, Habakarana, you ticket, Nia Meta set trainer, friendship recommender. The all new NSB Ithrumitru account, NSB I am, a plan for your dream. A look at economic news. The Asian Development Bank has launched a new country partnership strategy for Sri Lanka covering the period 2024-2028. The strategy will focus on restoring the country's macroeconomic stability, reviving growth and establishing the foundation for sustainable recovery and resilience. This new partnership strategy will build on ADB's ongoing assistance to support the country's efforts to restore macroeconomic stability and to achieve green and long-term sustainable growth, said ADB Country Director for Sri Lanka, Takafumi Kadono. Weather report. And finally, we take a look at the weather report. Showers or thunder showers will occur at a few places in the western and Sabragamo provinces and in the Gaul and Mathura districts after 2 p.m. Misty conditions can be expected at some places in the western, central Uva and Sabragamo provinces and in the Gaul and Mathura districts during the morning hours. And to end tonight's news broadcast, we take a look at the headlines again. Realigning the political party system to serve the nation's needs has been emphasised. Special notice has been given to all public employees regarding the New Year vacation. A proposal has been put forward by the World Bank to develop Kandy as a green city. Top ADB official and Minister Kanchana discuss regional power cooperation. In foreign news, Israel's military says the body of a hostage was recovered in a night raid. That ends tonight's news broadcast. The time reads two minutes to nine o'clock. This is Radio Sri Lanka. Well, thank you so much, Indrani, for bringing the main news broadcast. Uh, and of course, Indrani is not going anywhere because she is also here to host the family choice this Saturday night along with me, Dilshan Dimel, all the way until the end of transmission. That's basically 10 p.m. And of course, that's what's coming up next on Radio Sri Lanka.